you know, personally, I, I put this on me uh, from a leadership standpoint, my role on the team. Um, it had nothing to do with 20 days off. It had nothing to do with the time we missed. Um, it, it's a mental approach. And uh, honestly, it starts with me, you know, just the, the intensity and the, the intangible things just weren't there. You know, a shot didn't fall. And it's Big Ten basketball, man. A lot of shots are going to fall for a lot of teams. It's who competes the hardest. And tonight we didn't compete. And then I, I'll take responsibility for that. As a follow to that, those first maybe five minutes of each half, um, the the turnovers that happened there, was there a, between the two halves, was there something in common that, that was going wrong? Uh, just the attention to detail, you know, the following the scouting report, knowing they rallied to the ball, the kickouts were, were open. A lot of guys, the ball was stagnant a lot. And, and again, that starts with me. I had six turnovers tonight. Didn't shoot the ball well. Um, and as a leader, I can't do that. You know, it, it starts at the head. And I, again, I'll take responsibility for that. Next question is from Lindsey Huddleston. Hey, Aaron, um, uh, I definitely heard you loud and clear. You're taking responsibility. Uh, you're being accountable. Uh, my question is, how do you help the rest of the team turn the page right now? I mean, they're going to be headlines. This is Rutgers' first win in program history against Michigan State. How do you help your teammates uh, move on from tonight? Uh, again, it starts with me. Uh, Sunday, it's not going to get any easier. Uh, on the road, next two games are going to be, you know, just as good. And we got to be better. Uh, honestly, and uh, again, I said again, it, it starts with me. You know, I'm, I'm holding myself accountable for that. And um, yeah, I, I, I can't say much more than that. I'm just disappointed. Okay, thank you. Next up, Kyle Austin. Yeah, and I, I had a similar question. Obviously, you, you have a lot of games coming up, not a whole lot of prep time. How do you improve a lot without being able to get on the practice court a whole lot coming up? It's, it's a question of our ticker. It's not a question of getting shots up or, or understanding things. We It's attention to details. Like I said, it's the intangible things. The question of our heart, are we going to rebound, defend, are we going to run, are we going to follow this kind of report? It's, it's, what's, it's, it's just how basketball works. And uh, we have to do those things and, and, the, and the, the rest will follow after that. But if we have another approach like that, like we did, man, and again, I, I say it again, it starts with me. And and if we, if we do that again, uh, It'll just be ugly. All right. Uh, question for Matt Charbonneau. Uh, Aaron, I know you said um, you're not pinning this on the 20 days off, and um, you've given us a lot of reasons here. In, in the last couple of days when you guys were able to start practicing more as a team, did, did it feel like there was continuity there, or did you kind of feel like uh, things weren't exactly, you know, gelling so much the last couple of days? Practices were fine. Uh, we weren't hard. We got after it. You know, it was it, the return was nothing shy of what we expected. Uh, but we have to have carryover, and uh, it starts in the in the preparation on the plane on the way here. Uh, when we land at the hotel, uh, pregame meals on the bus, the approach. Like, um, that's that's just what it is. You know, we've been here three years. One one games here, and those when the games are won. And uh, we'll, I'm I'm sure we'll find our way. I'm, I'm sure. I'm, I'm not letting that happen. No, we don't. But tonight, we just, it's on me. It's on me. Um, we were harping on kind of just picking the energy up uh, in those timeouts before that stretch and, um, you know, just continuing to bring energy. And then somewhere in halftime, we just lost all our energy and we didn't come out strong enough or physical enough. And they punked us. Our next question is from Kyle Austin. Malik, I know you guys had a chance to, to shoot during the time off. That was one of the few things you could do. Did, did it surprise you at all how, how many shots kind of weren't falling tonight for you guys? It did a little bit. Um, a lot of people spent a lot of time working on their shot um, while, while we had that time off. And uh, I mean, it, it's a game, it's a game pace, so it's a little bit different, but uh, I think it'll it'll start to steady out after after a little bit. Next question comes from Lindsey Huddleston. Malik, with the long layoff, is it fair to say that there was some anxiety building up for you or some of the players when this day finally came, when you finally got a chance to get back out there, even though you were off for a long time? Um, 
I think there might have been a little bit um, just, you know, so much not knowing for a while. And then it's finally here and then it's kind of wet the bed. Thank you. Anything additional for Malik? Uh, there, there's one from Matt Charbonneau. Malik, when Aaron was talking to us earlier, he mentioned uh, wondering about your guys' ticker and how hard you played. Um, did you sense that too? And, and are you concerned at all about moving forward if, if guys aren't, you know, really all, not that you're all in, but you're just not given that effort that you think you guys need? Yeah, I, I sensed it a little bit too. I think um, we just got to, we have to come out strong and kind of it kind of starts with that like not letting anybody just come out and just kick us in the face like we started off i think it was 10 to 0 and i don't know when their run stopped but it was 15 15 so they came out 15 0 and i mean it was, that can never happen like from at that point we're playing catch up the whole game and it shouldn't be like that 